Provincial District Manager Tony Milanopoulos' son is a member of the Oakville Shooting Stars. I've been taking him there for the last 10 years or so. The store itself was looking to, uh, you know, do something for the uh, community. After um, COVID, the way things have turned out, a lot of people have had a, a hard time the last couple of years, and it's uh, a way to give back. Many Special Olympians are immunocompromised, so practices weren't a possibility during the pandemic. Coach Bingo Rivera's son missed the interaction. It was a big deal because of the social, you know, uh, aspect of it. Not being able to join, always asking, you know, uh, when can I see my friends? When can we go back to activity? Team manager Diane White feels Special Olympics is a wonderful opportunity for the whole community. Well, it's important to every individual uh, with special needs and individuals without special needs. So, they, so everybody can see what everybody's abilities are. And I've been involved for many years and I've seen a lot of changes with uh, some of our athletes. As you can see for Special Olympics, my son was actually came from the snowshoe competition yesterday for provincial games and he won a bronze, right, in our first ever competition. But I will hide this medal. This is not really what it's all about. He also got a fourth place. To him, this is just as important. Participation. It's not so much a medal, it's just a bonus, right? Whether he gets a participant medal or, a, or just a ribbon, it just makes their day. The fundraiser is taking place this Saturday from 1145 until 3 p.m. and includes a free lunch from a set menu. You can make a reservation by calling Baton Rouge or emailing oakvillefc at specialolympicsontario.ca. Uh, we've asked everybody to donate and uh, anything over $20, they will be issued a tax receipt from head office from Special Olympics Ontario. You'll be able to meet and congratulate the Special Olympics teams here and introduce yourself to fellow athletes in the Oakville community. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.